Imagine a few days to your wedding, you dream of cheating on your future husband with a man you've never met before. You're scared because you're afraid your dream could come to pass. Then, boom, you meet this man from your dream in real life, shortly before your wedding. Now, before we get into this movie, don't watch this movie if you're trying to abstain or single. Don't say I didn't want it. Barbie runs an accounting firm with her best friend as a partner, her fiancé, Kayo. Thiago, Barbie's bestie, is involved in a fraudulent scheme with her fiancé, Kayo. Now, when things escalate, Thiago breaks the engagement between Barbie and Kayo. Then, Barbie finds out that Kayo, her ex, is involved in a fraudulent act and is ready to expose him. However, Thiago, knowing very well that he's going to go down with him, tries to eliminate Barbie. In all of this, Bobby finds true love in this weird situation. Now here's what she missed and probably never noticed in the movie. Bobby's dream was symbolic and a message to tell us something that was going to happen at the end of the movie. The dream was sending a message to something that was going to happen in her life. Not necessarily she directly cheating on her fiancé. In the dream, we see Marco fall off the bike. Now, the fall of Marco in that dream and she rescuing him symbolized how she was going to meet a broken man who shattered and her presence in his life is going to save him out of his brokenness. Style of suspense in the movie is worth emulating. For instance, the look on Marco's face, especially when he's making love to Bobby or they're together, is always given mysterious, as though something bad is going to happen or Marco has something evil in his mind. So as you watch the movie, you begin to suspect Marco as the bad guy. On the contrary, the one that was closest to Bobby was the bad guy. As you watch to the end, you find out that that look was not a look of someone that had something evil in his mind, but had so much fear in his heart. Clearly someone who has been through so much, been through too much in life, and he's filled with so much fear. That explains why he doesn't have too many friends, doesn't speak too much, and it's always reserved. The title depicts clearly the major theme of the movie, which is betrayal. This betrayal is indeed one that is served hot. The writer clearly shows how your best friend could be your worst enemy, showing that in real life, there are always hints of betrayal, yet we fail to see it. Several times, Bobby felt that she needed to be careful of Thiago, but she brushed it off. When she received the video threat to stay away from Marco, she began to suspect Thiago, her best friend, choice and intent. I want to know at what point in this movie you were able to watch up to. Therefore, if you've watched to this point, drop in the comment section, betrayal served hot. Betrayal served hot. With this, I'll be able to know which point you were able to watch up to. I'll rate this movie a 7 out of 10. Have you watched Ben in Betrayal? Tell me what you think about it. Drop in the comment section your rating for the movie. And I'll gladly interact with you over there. The name still remains Mame Abnabukia. Drop in the comment section what you think. Like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Love you. Screw.